is such a privilege to introduce the man of the hour bringing forth the word. This is a very, very loving man. This is a, a great husband, a wonderful father. But most of all, he's a people's pastor. He has the heart of a pastor. And I know that to be so because he has a unique and different relationship with each and every one of you. His relationship with you is never the same. And the Bible speaks about timing in Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It says there's a time and a season for everything under the sun. And this is our time, this is our season. So it gives me great honor and privilege to introduce the appointed and most of all the anointed man of God to bring forth God's word. So after the sermonic selection is brought forth, the next word, the next voice that you will hear is the vessel of God. And watch how God speaks through him to speak to you. The next voice you will hear is none other than our loving pastor, my friend, Pastor Gary L. Colton.
Somebody shout, thank God for the blood. Thank God for the blood. Come on, give the Lord a real praise in here. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. I said, thank God for the blood of Jesus. I said, thank God for the blood of Jesus. Glory to God. 
save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. Thus end the reading of God's holy word. Father, we come now in your name. Thank you in advance for what you're about to do. God, we feel your glory in this place. Let us have an experience with you right now in your word. Father, take me to a place in you that I've never been. I pray in the name, show me your glory, God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, let me walk in this anointing that you have given me. And not be afraid of their faces, oh God. But let me preach Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, have your way in me, I pray. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of God. Just touch three people and tell them he's about to turn my persecution That's right. into praise. He's about to turn my persecution into praise. Hallelujah. He's about to turn my persecution into praise. My brothers and sisters, when I look at the beginning of this text, I'm literally blown away on how Jesus journeys to get to these ten leopards. The scripture helps us to understand that he journeyed through Samaria and Galilee, which helps us to understand that whatever I go through in life, that God will journey to meet me where I am. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Wherever I am, whatever I have done, whatever situation I am in, my God will journey to come see about me. There's somebody in the house that's in a journey right now. You are on a journey and you just can't understand what's going on in your life. You can't understand why the devil keeps messing with you, why stuff keeps happening to you. You can't even understand. You come to church, you sing in the choir, you pay your tithes. And stuff just keeps happening to you. Some of us are scratching our heads trying to figure out how in the world did I get on this journey? I didn't, I didn't mean to get here. I, I wasn't trying to be here. I was trying to live right because I saw another way. Touch your neighbor and tell them I saw another way. Sometimes we see another way but we can't get there. But because of the distractions in our lives, we can't get where God is directing us. There are some of us that saw a glimpse of the blessings that God has for us. We dreamed about it. We saw it vividly. We saw it clearly. We saw what God is about to give us. We saw, hallelujah, the door opening. We saw the miracle coming. We saw the healing on their way, but we couldn't get it because we went another way. But but, but thank God that God, touch your neighbor, tell me, he will meet me where I am. He will come and meet me where I am. It doesn't matter what journey I'm on. It doesn't matter what mistake I made. It doesn't matter if I'm going through hell. God will come and snatch me from hell because he loves me. Do I suck the body in here feel like praising God in here? He'll snatch me out of hell because he loves me. He'll go in the devil's face and rebuke the devil because he loves me. He'll bind the hands of the enemies that is coming after me because he loves me. Somebody needs to shout, he loves me. You need to understand that God loves you so much that he will fight for you. Some of us don't understand that the devil, the angels, were in spiritual warfare last night because they, oh God, because the enemy was coming to eat up your flesh. But Michael, the angel, heard the voice of Jesus say, that's my child. And Michael stood in the way of the darts that were coming after you. Somebody don't understand it. You can only see what God has kept you from, the things that could have killed you, the way you could have went, the things that could have happened to you. But because God stepped in the way, he sent his most strongest angel to step in the way so that death couldn't take you, so that sickness couldn't heal you, protect over your body, so that that word couldn't distract 
you. He stepped in the way because he loves you. Somebody shout and say, he loves me. Love lifted me. Love covered me. Love protected me. Love directed me. Thank God for the love of Jesus. When nothing else will help, love lifted me. I'm here today to tell you that I'm lifted up not because I love myself, but because I got a God that loves me. Somebody shout, he loves me. I feel like preaching right now. supposed to be on. So Jesus journeys to come to see about me. Somebody needs to understand that you didn't mean to get there, but love, hallelujah, pulls him. Love directs him. Love makes him go in places that nobody else would go to because he loves you. Some of you are going through hell right now, but I've come to tell you that love is about to take you to a place that you've never been before. Don't you lose your mind don't you quit. Don't you go into exile. Don't you stop coming to church. But keep coming. Keep praising. Keep lifting your hands. Keep giving God the glory. Touch your name and tell him I'm about to come out of this. This hell that I'm going through. I'm about to come out of it. And I'm coming out with my hands up. I'm getting my praise ready now. Because I can see the breaking of day. because he understands that he has to go through, hallelujah, some of the things that we did purposely and unknowingly. Some of us, oh God, some of us don't understand. Some of us meant to be where we are. Some of us didn't know that it would take us this way. I just loved him. I wanted to be loved. I wanted him, hallelujah, I wanted to feel good about myself. And it took me to a place, oh God, that I didn't want to be, hallelujah, I didn't want to be here. I didn't to be here. I wanted to have a good time like everybody else. And so the pill, the drink, the smoke made me feel a little lifted so I was able to party and have a good time right. like everybody else. But I didn't expect that my partying will take me on this journey. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Touch a name and tell them I didn't mean to get here. I didn't mean to be in a dry place. I didn't mean to be here. I didn't mean, I didn't want to be here. I can't hang on to what mama did and what daddy did and what uncle used to do. I got to break the curse. Hallelujah. And I got to get where God wants me to be. Look at the text here. He's on a journey to get these ten leopards. The Bible says he journeys where they are because they were in a far country. And some of us right here, you're looking at me, but you're in a far country. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. There's some of you here in the church lifting your hand, but your praise ain't real because you're in a far country. Hey, hey. I don't want people to see who I really am. I don't want them to see what I'm going through. And so I'm going to lift my hands like everybody else because I want to pretend to be somewhere where I'm not yet. But touch your name and tell them I'm about to get there. I'm not there yet. Don't laugh at me. Don't talk.
yourself in a place that you shouldn't be in because you allow people to get in your head. Touch your name and tell them, get out of my head. People will get in your head and mess you up. And next thing you find yourself messed up because you let people get in your head. Hallelujah, you can't let people get in your ear because if they get in your ear, they get in your head. And if they get in your head, they'll stop your praise, they'll stop your giving glory. Slow it down just a little bit. What God is about to release in your life 
it's not even for you. It's for the haters that said that it wouldn't happen. Come on, somebody. All those people that got together after church was over, went to Applebee's and had a conversation about you because you made some mistakes in your life and said that you'll never be nothing. God is going to bless you for that. process and we got to go through the process 
every step is like climbing Jacob's ladder. Every round goes higher and higher. But touch your neighbor and say, look where I came from. I'm further now than where I was before. Look at me. I'm not where I was. I'm not where I want to be. But look how far the Lord has brought me. He's brought me from a mighty long way. I know I got a long way to go. But I keep looking back because looking back gives me the praise. Looking back makes me wonder where God has brought me from. And he has brought me from a mighty long way. Look at what he says in the text. He says, he says, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, touch your name and tell him healed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He says, out of all of them, it was it was it was nine of them, but out of all of them, one of them turned back, and the rest of them refused to turn back. There are places that you're going in God that people can't go with you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. in your life. There are family members in your life. I love you, but you can't go where God is about to take you. And sometimes it wasn't meant for them to go with you because if they went with you, there'd be more of a distraction than anything else. Because what God is about to do in your life ain't gonna make sense to you, ain't gonna make sense to them, and ain't gonna make sense to nobody else. But it makes plenty sense to God. Watch this. One turned back, the others didn't, because the one that turned back was meant to turn back. Come on, somebody. Everybody is not going to turn back to say thank you. Some people are comfortable where they are. Some of us are just here today because we want a blessing. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But there's some of us that are here because we love Jesus. That's what you said this morning, didn't you? There are some of us that are in so in love with Jesus that I didn't have nothing to wear, but I had to get to church. I didn't have no money in my pocket, but I had to get to church. I had to get in the house of the Lord because I need to be in the presence of God. But there's some that will sit in the church and won't even say thank you. And God has been good to them. They'll sit right there and don't even lift their hands and say thank you. But when you know that you know that you know how good God has been to you. And when you come for the right reason, even if you got to praise God by yourself,
follow the crowd. Go ahead, this is it. Look at what he says. Because he did not follow the crowd. Go ahead, go ahead. Watch what Jesus says. Brother Bruce, watch this. He says, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. Watch the text. He says, because you did not follow the crowd. Go ahead, go ahead. Because you went another way. Right. Tell somebody else to tell them, go another way. Go that ain't working. That way ain't working. That ain't working. That ain't doing nothing for you. That ain't helping you. Tell somebody else to tell them, go another way. Go keep trying the same thing. It ain't working. You keep dating the same men. It ain't working. You keep drinking the same booze. It ain't working. You keep smoking the same cigarette. It ain't working. Somebody shout, it ain't working. Because he did not follow the crowd, the Lord released him to go his way because his way was like the way of Christ. I'm done. There are some things God can release you to because if he released it to you now, you'll go another way. Soraya, listen to what I'm about to tell you. There are some things that are stored up in heaven with your name on it that God did not release yet because he's waiting for you to learn how to go his way. do when 
but something in you is calling you. Good God Almighty. What do you do when something in you is calling you? And the thing that's calling me, I find myself going in the wrong direction. There are people here today that can say, God's been calling me for a long time. But I keep finding myself on the wrong road. Going in the wrong direction. But I'm here to declare today, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you are right where God wants you. You're in the midst of a setup. Because God is about to do a great comeback in your life. Come on, give him praise here today.
Pastor Coulter, First Lady of the Mount Lebanon Baptist Church family. We have our sister Imani Simpkins coming back for reinstatement. Yeah. Yeah. Share your wisdom. 
Christ and your love. We love you. And I love you with all my heart. To Reverend Johnson, God bless them. Heaven is rejoicing. I prayed that God will send me help. Not that I don't have help here. When God is taking me, God is taking us. We pray that God will send us more help. We've always loved the God in the book of you. Brother, when I didn't even know you, didn't even know that you were married to Reverend Johnson, the first day I met you, I fell in love with you. You treated me with love and you didn't even know nothing about me. You took my bag and you walked me to my car and you spoke in my life. You are a humble servant of the Lord. My job is not to stop you from serving. My job is to encourage you both to do the work that the Lord has called you to do. My job is not to hinder you. That is not my job. My job is to love you and to push you to be the best that you can be. Amen. And I tell you, go through this new members class. Roll your sleeve up and do the work. Amen. Do the work. Do the work. Go through that new members class. And get your right hand in front of you and do the work. As you go in, keep working. Work where you can. I gotta work in the kitchen. I gotta work with ushers. I gotta give up work. Do the work. None of it is beneath us. Amen. Whatever it takes, Amen. do the work. Amen. I love you with the love of God. I say to you both, I am not a perfect man, but I serve a perfect God. Amen. I don't know everything, but I have no problems with asking how to do things. Amen. My door is always open. If there's anything that you need or you don't understand, you come to me and I will direct you in the same love. Amen? Amen. I love you guys. Extend their hand forward. Stay right there. Brother Willie, I prayed over you a long time ago. And God told me to tell you that your hands that you hold never touch anything that's out of God. The first day I met you, I told you God changed your name. You are no longer what you used to be. God changed your name. Your name is blessing. Your name is conqueror. He changed your name. Because he changed your name, you change what you touch. Change what's in your mind. And ask God to give you the mind of Christ. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever the situation is, oh God. God, I pray, oh God, that you would take care of it right now in the name of Jesus. If it's healing, give him healing. If it's the deliverance, give him deliverance. Whatever he lacks of, oh God, meet that need. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray, oh God, by his faith in you, oh God that you will release everything that's been stored up for him. God, take him to another level in you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, my prayer right now is that you make him whole. In the name of Jesus. Make him whole. Fill him with your spirit. Holy Ghost. Fill him. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak it into his life. In Jesus' name.
name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm floating right now. I'm floating. But I'm even going to go high. 